People fighting for the cleanup of a toxic waste site in South Asheville are angry. And they say that new test findings show a plume of toxic waste mixed with petroleum is proof the EPA is wasting time and money. News 13's Frank Raboni joins us. Frank, what's been going on at the former CTS site? Darcel, EPA workers have been drilling new wells and taking samples for months. Neighbors and activists have been demanding those test results, which the EPA now confirms to News 13, show a surprising new discovery. There's no activity at the former CTS plant today. Each day, you know, it was almost something different. But neighbors say the EPA has been very busy at the toxic Superfund site. For roughly six, seven months, EPA were drilling test wells over there, roughly every 100 feet or so, I would guess. Samples from test wells reveal a new plume of trichloroethylene, or TCE, a toxic solvent, and petroleum. It's the first time they've been found mixed together. Activists fighting the EPA to do something about the contamination were angry they weren't notified about the results. The people can't wait any longer. There's been too much suffering. There have been too many people that have died. And, you know, this, is, this should be a call to action here. Neighbors, however, weren't so surprised. I'm not surprised. I think the owners of that property have hidden a lot of stuff from the public. And it's surprising, but not really surprising, because they've always, somebody's trying to hide something. This new toxic plume has moved closer to the surface as groundwater levels have risen, buried in what some say has been a waste of taxpayer dollars. At the bottom of this disaster site lies $11 million of the people's money and no cleanup. So we're really upset about it and we think that the people here deserve better. Clean up the source. The ground, Mother Nature might help start getting the ground cleaned up for us. But the source has got to be cleaned up first. The EPA says soil contamination levels have actually gone down over the past 10 years, but the groundwater, it's still polluted. The new test results are still being examined and will be released to the public after an EPA review. These findings could help shape the Superfund cleanup, but when that could happen is still up in the air.